Are you an athlete with a recent failed PR attempt? Well, if so, this video is for you. I know the feelings after you've missed that personal best attempt, and unfortunately, it feels like the world is ending. However, I'm Dr. Ashley, and I'm here today to talk to you about the three R's after missed PRs, the three things that you need to be doing to make sure that you get your mindset back to getting back in the game. So let's dive in. Now, I can feel your sadness, I really do. However, after a day or two, after this Miss PR, it's time to let the pity party go. I know you worked really hard to get to this point and I hope that you do too. And I hope that you also remember that after a failed attempt, it doesn't mean that it's the end. I really hope that you don't choose one failure as the end of a career or the end of you trying to get to that next benchmark that you've set for yourself. The biggest thing I always say to any athlete that I'm working with as a physical therapist or as a performance coach is that on the day that you're going for your PR, all of the stars must align. And it's not just simply that day, it's the week before or the weeks before making sure that everything goes spot on and that your stress level and your recovery is where it needs to be throughout your performance. Now, before I get into the three R's after missed PRs, I'd love if you hit that subscribe button. And if you're enjoying the content that you found on our channel, share it with your friends. Now, what are the three R's after Miss PR's? Well, this is something that I've come up with as a clinician and a performance coach to help my athletes through their unsuccessful attempts. Whether it be missing their bench press, whether it be missing the half marathon attempt, there's ways that you need to approach the aftermath of a failed attempt in order to help you reset your brain and make sure that you're getting to the point where you want to continue to perform. As I've already said, a failed attempt should not mean it's your quitting point. However, we need to sit back, look at the things that may have gone wrong and get you to that next step. So what are these three words? What are these three R's? Well, the first one I always say is recover. The second one we're gonna go into is resetting the way that you're thinking about things. So basically just reset overall. And the third one is reflect. We need to look back at what could have possibly gone wrong in your attempt or in your progression to get to where you wanted to be to really see how you can get over that hurdle for the next time around. So let's talk about these a little bit more. Now, here I am with one of my athletes out at the North American Championships in St. Louis earlier this year. Now, although we came home champions, this meet did not go as planned. The heavy lifts that were planned to be hit were all missed, PR attempts were not made, and unfortunately, mindset needed to be shifted. So that's when we started working on the three R's. The big one that you need to start focusing on is recovery. The reason being is it is imperative to take the time to let your body heal after you push it to its limits. Most athletes are not good at this and they're not good or you're not good at listening to your body, especially if you're listening to this. The big thing is, is that you need to observe the facts. You need to think about your feelings. You need to think about if you're ready mentally. You also need to notice things such as heart rate changes. Is your resting heart rate elevated? Do you feel as if you cannot recover? Is your heart rate responding to exercise differently than it normally does? That means are you going out on a run, but your heart rate is still more elevated than normal? Well, all of those things are extremely important to think about. The other thing, when it comes to recovery, you need to listen to what your muscles are telling you. If you are always chronically sore or your muscles feel chronically fatigued, more than likely you are not ready to get back out there running, get under the bar, or really get back to doing what you love. The reason being is that your body simply is giving you a warning sign. Now, some things, if you don't give yourself time to recover, your body can boycott. This is where injuries might occur, or you may see performance declines rather than performance increases. You may not be able to reach that PR, and that is why I feel like recovery is really the first step in moving through the three R's and getting your mindset to shift after your failed attempt. After you've recovered, it's time to sit back and reflect on what could have gone better during your training or even just overall. 
Here you can see that this is another failed attempt out at North Americans by my athlete Mike. And what we had to do when we got back is sit down, look at these videos, and talk about everything that went wrong or right during our training and during our travel. The thing is, is you have to think about certain things. You have to think about the stressors you had during training, your mindset during training, whether you were training properly under training or over training, and your recovery principles during training. So these are some things that you really need to be asking yourself and do a little self-reflection after a failed attempt. Now, sorry for the quote interruption, but if you know me, I love a good motivational quote from time to time. Now, these are the things that you should be focusing on. We all know that undue stress on a body can impact physical abilities, and it can significantly impact your ability to perform over time. All of the things on this list actually make a big difference when it comes to performance. So let's talk. The first thing you should be observing is your mental status. Were you confident? Were you sad? Were you happy? Were you anxious? All of that can impact your performance. Did you have undue stress? Was there something going on at home? Was there something going on at work? Remember, stress is stress. And no matter what, it means increased load on your body. Did you fuel enough? Was your nutrition on point? And if you realized that you were losing weight during your training, especially if you're a runner, that's not necessarily a great thing. Sometimes we actually see weight loss as an indicator of performance decline and not improvement when it comes to running. Did you travel to your destination without having time to acclimate to your environment? Was traveling stressful? Did you have canceled flights? The big thing is, is that you can't just show up to a race the morning of and expect to perform well, especially if you've had stress going on the day before or even a few days before. Sometimes it can really take three, four, five, six, maybe even 10 days to acclimate to your environment. Now, here's the big question. Were you training properly? Did you have deload weeks? Did you recover well? Did you sleep well? All of those things, if you're overtraining, typically it will lead to injury or poor performance. Now, the big question here, sleep, this has to do with recovery, right? You have to make sure that you are recovering well in order to perform well. And sleep, it makes that 1% difference. If you don't sleep enough and recover well enough, well, your performance suffers, and that is that. Now, were your stress levels elevated? That means typically poor performance. Stress is stress, and you have to remember that. Did you train enough? Did you train too much? Did you build in deload weeks to prevent overtraining? You should really be examining those factors because a lot of the time, overtraining is a reason why athletes fail at their PR attempt. Now, here's a big one for you. Did you experience an illness or an injury during training? These things can heavily impact your ability to perform well. And if they interrupted your training protocol, well, there's a reason why you might not have succeeded at your PR attempt. And last but not least, Did Mother Nature have different plans for you that day? You have to remember, the weather is out of your control, and if the climate was completely different than what you had been training in, it's likely that it's going to impact your performance. So don't harp on yourself if Mother Nature made it 90 degrees and humid on the day that you're trying to run a PR. All right, folks, so after you've reflected, it is time to reset. It's time to shift your mindset. Do not be embarrassed by your failures. Learn from them and start again. I thought this quote by Richard Branson was great to start this off with. The reason being is it is time to think about things a little bit differently. It's normally time after a failed PR attempt to shift away from your norm. After you've reflected, think about the things that you could do better. Did you train yourself and you missed your PR? Well, maybe it's time to hire a coach. Did you have issues with anxiety or with stress? Well, maybe it's time to look at hiring a sports psychologist. When you reset, it's time to think about what you can do better for your body to help you kick that PR's butt. Even if that includes, as I've already said, hiring people to help. Talking is not going to harm you. If anything, it's only going to help you succeed in the future. Think about all of the things that went well. Think about all of the things that went wrong. And just remember, you have the ability to make the change for yourself. 
This may be a time where you want to explore different training variables. You want to try training in a different way. Maybe look at other people around you to help you to give you a little bit more motivation. Remember, you can only control what you can control. Remember, you're not mother nature and you can't control the weather. But you can control your stress, you can control how you train, you can control how you eat, and if these are things that you're struggling with, make sure you reach out to people for help. Now, I'm not hopping back on camera here simply because I'm not feeling well. However, here is a little video of me training in a different way after I failed at a PR attempt simply to help my body improve and recover to the best of its abilities. Remember, you can do this and you don't wanna take this one failure as the end. So here's to moving forward and using the three R's after missed PRs to hit your next attempt.